Second Kings chapter two, verse 24 says this. Second Kings chapter two, verse 23 and 24. It says that Elisha went up to Bethel. And as he was walking along the road, some boys, they came forth out of the city and mocked him and said unto him, go up, body, go up, body. In another text, it says, go up, thou bald head, go up, thou bald head. In the next, the 24th verse, it says that he turned around and looked at them and he cursed them. He looked behind him and saw them. Now, that's very important that he looked behind him and saw them. He cursed them in the name of the Lord. And then two female bears came out of the woods and tore up 42 children. 42 children died. Now, I want to show you something. The word of the Lord came to me. Notice what these children was doing. They were targeting the image of Elisha, not Elijah, Elisha, the one that received a double portion. They were targeting his image. They didn't say anything else. They said his image, go up body, go up body. What the Lord began to speak to me is that a child of God has to curse whatever is against the image of God in their nature. Whatever is against the image of God in your nature, in your functionality, whenever you see anything other than the image of God functioning in you, you're supposed to curse it. The Holy Spirit spoke to me and told me that when a child of God is on the way that God has them, remember Elisha was on his way. He was on a route with God. He was on a path with the spirit. He was on a road. Look what he has to do on the road. He has to look behind him. You notice that the children or the word curses or the things that was targeting his image was behind him. He had to look behind him and then he had to curse what was behind him. If you remember, it was Jesus that looked behind him and, or, or rather he told Peter, get thee behind me. There was a reason why Jesus was saying, get thee behind me, because what Peter was saying was an attack against the image of God on Jesus. The image of of God on Jesus was for him to die on the cross. And so the fact that Peter told him not to die, even though it sounded good and it sounded caring, it was still against the image of God that was on Jesus. The same way when people attack the image of God that's on you to fulfill something in particular, you still have to curse that. God called you to be in the midst of a place for five months and not speak to anyone. And you have an Elizabeth assignment. You have to curse anyone that tells you, come out to meet me at this location or come out to meet me at this location, because that's against the image of God for you. When the word said that Elisha looked behind him, it shows you that this is the location of word curses. Word curses always bring you backwards. It brings you backwards financially. It brings you backwards emotionally. It brings you backwards. Whenever you find yourself struggling with something that is not of God is because you're looking backwards. Lot's wife looked backwards and then she she was she became a pillar of salt. There was a reason why she became a pillar of 
salt because she was created to be salt. So after she looks back, her end result is that what she should have became was now visible for all to see. When Lot's wife was on that ground as a pillar of salt, notice she didn't return back to the ground as dust. God created Adam as from the dust of the ground. So why isn't Lot's wife showing up as dust? The word says that she shows up as a pillar of salt because this is what her assignment was in the earth. She was supposed to add flavor to the presence of God. She was supposed to bring a, a preservative to God's plan, to his will, to his focus. She did not preserve God's focus. So God lets her see herself at the end of her life. I want to say something that never been said before. God just heard the spirit of the Lord remind me and said, Say this just like I told you to say it. Spirit of God said that when her spirit left her body, she looked down at the salt that was on the ground. And God showed her, this is what you would have functioned in, released, fulfilled if you had continued. Now, saints, now we see that Elisha, he curses them in the name of the Lord. What does the cursing does? It is to break their words or break what they have released because they have released death. There, remember, Proverbs chapter 18, verse 21 reveals that your tongue releases two realms, either life or death. When they spoke these words to Elisha, they released death. And I'm going to show you something that you never saw in the word, but there's a strong prophetic apostolic anointing on me. When they was releasing death, when he cursed them in the name of the Lord, he sent back what they were releasing. So when he cursed them, the Bible says there was two she bears that came out of the woods and ate them alive. So they died because their words were death. So when you curse things in the spirit is because you're reversing it. When you curse things in the spirit, that means that you're reversing it. When you bind things, you're reversing it. When he went, go curse them in the name of the Lord, he was reversing what they were releasing. So that's why they ended up dead. Saints, I feel such an anointing on this. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. They received the harvest of their words. They spoke death. They died immediately. There's also a revelation that I want to show you that these she bears came out of the woods. And woods represent nature. I want you to see this. And in, 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 as you're listening to me, you're, you're going to another level in the spirit. You're going to another level in God's glory presence. You're going to another level in the spirit. There was a connection of why these two she bears came out of the woods. Because woods, remember this, it represents nature. Nature represents who you are. Either the sinful nature or the Jesus nature, the divine nature, the born again nature, the righteous nature, which is all divine nature, is all God's nature. We are partakers of his divine nature. So the fact that these she, she bears came out of the woods and killed them. I want you to see this, that these children got murdered, not so much by these she bears. They got murdered by nature. It was nature that killed them. The location where the, the murders were released was the woods, which represent nature. 
It was the nature of these children that killed them, their mentalities, the way that they saw a prophet of God that was assigned to them. If your mentality is bad towards a prophet that's assigned to you, you'll kill yourself. These children did not know that Elisha was assigned to their life. That was their father. They spoke death and killed themselves. They did not see that it was going to be the nature that they had inside of them that would be their own downfall. It wasn't so much the she bears that killed them. The real she bears was their mindset. My God, the real she bears was their perception. The, 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 the she bears was really their realm of dishonor, their realm uh, of inability, blindness to see who Elisha was to their life. Saints, my God, there was she bears in their soul that they never dealt with. And those she bears destroyed them. Those she bears appeared in the natural, but really those she bears was in the mental. It was in the spirit. It was in the soul. It was in the emotion. It was in the, 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 the mindset, the attitude of these children and saints. The word says that 42 of them died. 42 of them died. 42 of them died. Now, all 42 children died. I want you to see this. These children died out of what came out of nature. These children died because of what came out of nature, which is the same thing that happened with the children of Israel. They died because of what was coming out of their nature. The children of Israel died because of what was coming out of their nature. Eli's children died because what was coming out of their nature. So people of God, purge your nature. Let your nature be in agreement with the word. Let your nature be renewed. Let your nature move in a fresh dimension of power. Take on a new nature. Take on a new dimension. Let your nature begin to receive fresh wisdom from God. And as you move in the nature that God has for you, you'll begin to experience that death curses will not touch you. These children was not going to be cursed. They would not have died if they had another nature. These she bears came out of nature because it was a revelation of what they were operating in mentally, that their nature was their own murderer. 